And you can kind of shift that ratio however you want. It could be 3-6, it could be 6-12. Uh, but the goal is, as we really extend those exhales, basically all of these little things I just gave you are different parasympathetic triggers. So the closing of the eyes, being mindful of the breath is a, is a trigger. Diaphragmatic breathing is a trigger. Nasal breathing is a trigger. Uh, supine position, laying on your back is a trigger. Extending exhales is a trigger. Uh, <clears throat> breathing in a cadence of about five to seven breaths per minute is a trigger. So these are all parasympathetic triggers. So what we try to do in those situations is let's take advantage of as many of them as we can. Uh, that hissing or humming or that, that noise, that vibration with the back of the throat, all of those things are parasympathetic triggers. So my goal is like, if I'm driving home from work and I'm like, had a crazy day, I got five minutes, I wanna just calm down, get myself reset before I go into you know, my, my home life, then I'll do that, you can do that in the car. I'm not gonna close my eyes because I'm in the car, but how many of these triggers can I take advantage of? So one to two ratio of inhale to exhale, making a little noise on the exhale, whether it's hissing or humming or the ocean breath. And you can do that for three to five minutes. I find like three is the minimum because it takes usually a minute or two to start to get into that. But it's kind of meditation. Yeah. You, know, you don't even feel like you're getting into a meditative state until you're at least at five minutes. So for the breath work, I find that three is about the minimum, five or six is more ideal. And that's my post-workout right? breathing routine is six minutes most of the time, unless I'm short on time. But it's usually six minutes, that protocol, laying out on my back with my feet up on the bench. Uh, and I just go through that uh, pattern. Man, that is so incredibly useful. I mean, like, I hope you're listening, but <laughs> <laughs> at this point, if you're not listening, I mean, you can, we'll watch it again. But uh, that's so useful. I just think of that, you know, we're, we're talking in the context of training. Uh, I'm thinking of it as a dad uh, homeschooling. Like, I can absolutely use that yeah, <laughs> for dealing yeah. with things. Um, but that sounds awesome. Definitely gonna incorporate that. Uh, man, that was, there's just been so many nuggets into this. Everything you've talked about, so much awesome stuff. Uh, I like to close these off with a very simple question and you can, you know, think about it for a second, but what does living fit mean to you? We've gone from specific to general. But... Yeah, living fit. I'll give you one word, I can dive deeper if you explain it, but I think living fit to me personally right now means freedom. It's the, That's my biggest goal with my fitness in general is to have the freedom to do the things that I want to do. Physically, it, you know, I'm, a, I'm super active. I like to do jujitsu and surf and do that stuff. And for me, that's what I train for. I train to be able to do all of those things that I want to do and to never have the limitations. You know, I've always been one of those people who, you go on vacation and everyone's like, oh, we should go uh, rock climbing. I'm like, oh, I don't can't go rock climbing. I'm not in shape for that. I'm not, that's what, that's why I train. And that's why I train so versatile because I like to be able to uh, never be a liability. Whether, you know, if we're going to, I'm going to Mexico next week, we're going to go spear fishing. I can hold my breath for a long time and swim. Or I'm going to go, you know, surfing. Well, I've got the balance to get up and surf and be able to do those things. And if I'm perfectly confident, if someone says, hey, let's go uh, horseback ride. Never done that in my life. But I'm very confident that because I train the way I train, I can go do those things and, it, and it's not going to be a, a limitation to me. So that's, that's one of the big things for me. Uh, that's what I think living fit brings to people is it brings the freedom to do what you want to do. I love that. Just being able to do what you want to do, when you want to do it, not being limited, not being a liable. That's a, that's a good one. Yeah. That's so a, how many people are an absolute liable. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Laird Hamilton quote that kind of underpins everything we do at XPT. Don't be a liability. That's awesome. So where can we find out more information about you, what you do, how you do it? Everything about, uh, everything I do is on XPT pretty much. So xptlife.com, you can find all of our courses, all the stuff that we do. XPT Life on Instagram, uh, we have tons of free information on there. So those are the two best places to find anything from me. Awesome. Well, hope you enjoyed. There, like I said, there's been so much information here. I'm literally gonna be doing my breath practice as soon as I'm done with my workout today. Uh, Loved having uh, loved having you on here. So thank you so much for your time, your expertise, all the stuff that you've put in this. I know this is your passion, all these things that you do. So I really appreciate that. And we will see you on the next episode.